Hello everyone, my name is Doris. I'm back again with that same fiction story between Emmanuel and Liko Rose. I believe you all have been enjoying these stories that have been dropping all the while. Yes, I am here with episode 14, 15, 16 and 17. Okay, but before we go into this, kindly do me this favor and recommend this channel to people out there. Yes, subscribe to this channel if you've not. Comment and also like my videos. Tell your friends, your family members, your lovers about this channel. Let them join us in this beautiful and entertaining story that we've been dishing out on this channel. An educative part too, because there is no way you will go through these stories. You will not be able to pick one or two things from the stories that we've been dishing out. Remember, this is fiction story put together by one of the fans of Imaru's shippers just for fun, just for fun and also to educate people out there. Let's move into the one I came with today and remember where we stopped yesterday, where uh, Emmanuel went to bed and Liquor Rose went to bed and at the same time they had different dreams. Let's see the kind of dreams they had. At Rose's house, Rose saw herself outside playing with someone in the garden. The person moved towards her and she saw that it was Emma. Rose now said, Emma, what are you doing here? Emma said, Rose, I love you. Rose said, I love you too. They hugged each other and Rose said she needs to go inside. So Emma decided to escort her to her gate. As Rose was about to enter her house, Emmanuel drew her back and kissed her. Rose was shocked. Emma immediately apologized. I am so sorry. Rose said, no, it's good. Can you continue? Emma said, for real? Rose said, yes. Emma immediately kissed her and the kiss started getting intense. And as Emma wanted to stop, Rose drew him closer till they both entered the house. Immediately, the alarm bell rang and Rose waked up immediately and said, oh no. Ella and the former rushed in and asked her why she screamed like that. Rose said nothing. Ella said, it's a lie, but why sweating? Ifoma said, hmm, and your face is red. Rose said, I said nothing. Ifoma said, hmm, Ella, do you think what I'm thinking? Ella said, yes, babe. Maybe she dreamt about Ima. Rose stood up and chased them out of the room. They all laughed. At Uma Junior's house, Ima also had same dream and woke up. Immediately, he found Victor and Beauty in his room. Emma looked at them and asked them why are they in his room. Beauty and Victor laughed at him that why was he shouting Rose's name. Emma said, for real, I shouted her name. Beauty said, see, dad, Shebi, I told you, stop denying your feelings. Victor said, but bro, what were you dreaming about that you were whining your waist? Emma said, both of you should get out of my room now. Beauty and Victor started shouting, Rose, Rose, Rose. Emma chased after them. In the sitting room at Omo Junior's house, Emma's parents said, My son, today is the house warming. Is all going well with your preparations? Emma said, Yes, Dad. Victor and Beauty shouted at the same time, Is Rose coming? Episode 14. Emma now said, Dad, Mom, please warn Beauty and Victor. Emma's parents laughed at him and said they were just asking innocent questions. Emma said, so you are supporting them? No problem. Victor, you better don't ask me for any money. Victor and Beauty, Victor now said, no more vanilla for you too. Beauty said, but dad, it was just a question. Victor said, bro, it's unfair. Emma said, life isn't fair. Emma left for work so that he can leave the office early for preparation of his housewarming that he can't wait to see Rose too. At Mazi's house, Detective said, hello, Mazi, you called me. Mazi said, yes, I need your help in finding someone, more like dig up the person's background. The detective said, hmm, do you know the person, Fam family, friends, or business associates? Mazi said, I just met the person recently, but it felt like I have known the person for long. Detective now said, that's wild. Okay, no problem. S send me what you know about him and money to start. Mazi said, money is not a problem. I will transfer it immediately. The detective said, okay, no problem. Mazi said, bye. At Rose's house, Rose was relaxing, watching movie with her friends and Justin. Suddenly, something came to her mind. Rose said, babe, I forgot to ask you, how did you know Emma? Ella and the former looked at each other. 
Ella said, it's a long story for another time. Rio said, if you guys met him, how come I never met him? Then Ifoma said, me, I don't know. Rio said, I'm suspecting you guys. Oh. Ella quickly changed the topic. They ate, played, went for shopping. They came back exhausted. Immediately, Ella asked Rose that did Emma send the address again? Rose said yes, and it's by 6 p.m. Ella checked her time and saw it was 6.40 already. Rose down said, we are little. Rose said, oh my God, he might think that we're not coming again. Or more, we forgot ourselves while shopping. If Emma said, is it not your fault? Let's nap here. Let's do video here. Now you are complaining. Ella said, this one that we are standing and complaining, we will use it to dress up. Oh. Immediately, they rushed to dress. Ima was done with his work by 2 p.m. He rushed home to change his outfit and start preparing. He, could have, he couldn't have contained his joy that he will finally move into his new home with his daughter to get to see Rose tonight. He dressed up and took his family in his ride off they went at Rose's house. They were done with their dress and they stepped outside into the car. Ella asked Rose to give her the address. Immediately, Rose gave it to Ella. Ella was shocked. Rose said, what is it? Ella said, where we are going is not even f far from here. Do you remember that that house we were admiring the other day? Ifama said, yes. Don't tell me it's Ima's house. Ella said, yes, it is. That is what I'm seeing as the address here. Ifoma said, oh my god, this is a small world. Rio said, hmm, let's just go first. As they were going, they finally reached there. Immediately, Rio sensed that she has been there before. Rio said, wait guys, I've been outside this building before. Ella said, come on girl, I, I don't think so. Rio said, try to remember, but she couldn't, so she let it be. At a mass new house, the house has already been launched, party was going on already, everybody were congratulating him left, right and center, but he was expecting someone. Beauty said, dad, who are you looking for? Emma said, stop pretending princess, you know who I'm looking for, but you are still asking. Beauty laughed and said, you caught me dad, she is outside already. Emma said, for real, she came? Beauty said, you see what I'm talking about, lover boy. Emma said, get out of my way, Jare. Beauty was smiling. She was happy to see her dad so happy. It's been long. She has seen him like this, smiling like five-year-old child. She ran back inside. Emma was sitting outside waiting. Immediately, Rose entered the gate. Okay, guys, on a quick one before we continue with episode 15, 16, and 17. This unknown person that we'll be mentioning here is somebody he is a person let's just say he or she because we are yet to know whether the person is a female or a male person okay then the stranger is a positive messenger yes opposite of unknown unknown is the negative one that wants to destroy the happiness of these two but stra the stranger there is the positive messenger and is he is or or she is whichever one okay he is a good messenger he's the one trying to make emma and rose meet you remember then beauty here is emma's child but we are yet to know if she is the biological daughter of emma or adopted child of emma or something else okay which we are yet to know then the mazi here he is rose's friend and also emma's friend but the thing there is that Mazi cannot even remember uh, Ima again. And Ima cannot remember Mazi again. And there is this business they did some time ago. They are yet to remember each other. That was why Mazi called that detective to help him and get some information as regards to Ima. Maybe from there, he will be able to remember where they met. And also, Ifoma and Ella, they knew something about Ima. But Liko Rose, as in, she's even blank about the whole thing. And the Ella and the former, they're not even helping matters to tell Liko Rose CEO. But I believe uh, by the end of the story, we'll be able to know uh, the story, the whole th how, how the whole thing started. But this whole story, eh, Omo, <laughs> it's complicated, though. Uh -uh, as in, twist here and there. But at the end of it all, uh, we'll be able to see what later happened. And I believe you all are enjoying the whole thing too. Let's move into episode 15 immediately. As Rose entered, she saw Emma sitting down outside. So Ella and the former told her to move forward and present the drink she brought for him. Rose was shy as she moves forward. Immediately, 
Ima stood up and walked up to her. Meanwhile, Ima's secretary, that is Jumoke, was very angry seeing Ima with Rose. She said to herself, I know what to do. Ifoma and Ella excused themselves and entered, leaving only Rose and Emmanuel alone. Rose said, hi, I'm so sorry, I'm late. Emma said, it's nothing, I'm just glad you made it because my daughter has been disturbing me about you. Rose said, are you sure it's beauty that want to see me or you? Anyway, I brought this whiskey, that is monkey shoulder, to celebrate with you. Emma said, maybe both of us. He smiled. Wow, thanks a lot. Let's go inside. As they were about going inside, Jumoke was standing by the door side. When she sees Rose, she was about opening the door. She immediately opened and did as if she fell down by mistake with the drink in her hand and the drink splashed on Rose's clothes. Hmm. Emmanuel was so pissed off. Beauty was watching them from afar. She just shook her head and smiled. She now said, you think you can mess with the people I love so much? I will show you. Ah! Imanona said, can't you see where you're going? Rose said, it's okay. It was by mistake. Secretary now hissed silently and said, I'm so sorry, boss. Ima said, I'm not the one you should apologize to. The secretary, that is Jim Walker, said, I'm sorry while eyeing Rose. Rose now smiled and said, you think you can mess with me and go scot-free? You will mess. You have messed with the wrong person. That This is what she said in her mind. Beauty and Victor had plan going on. Emma took Rose to the washroom and waited outside. Immediately, the lights went off. Beauty and Victor, <laughs> from their own point of view, Beauty said, Uncle Vic, you were off the lights, so I have something I need to take care of. Beauty sneaked to where Jimoke was and poured some liquid on her shoe. Silently, and she smiled and left. So at the washroom where Rose was, Rose was scared of the dark. Immediately, the lights went off. She screamed. Immediately, Emma rushed. Rose has forgotten she's not with any clothes on her body. Emmanuel immediately said, are you okay? Rose immediately jumped on Emma's body. Victor was about to go and on the light, but Beauty stopped him. That in the next 15 minutes, whereas everyone was wondering what, what was happening, Beauty said, Uncle Vic, go and try and distract the people. Vic said, okay, but be careful. Beauty said, okay, go now. At the washroom... Rose jumped on Emma and immediately Emma fell down due to that the ground is so slippery and Rose fell on him. Emma and Rose were both shocked by that action but it seems they can no longer hide their feelings anymore. Emma started kissing little Rose and she reciprocated too. Immediately, Emma said, I'm so sorry, I got carried away. Rose said, um, it's not your fault but it seems I need more. Emma got the message and dragged her to himself and they started all over again. Episode 16. The lights went on immediately. Rose was shy immediately and told Emma to let go even though she knew she wanted more. Rose said, I need to dress up now, feeling shy. Emma saw that she was shy, lifted her up to her his face to look at her very well and say you don't need to be shy around me i don't know how to say this but i like you rose was shocked like for real since when emma said since i met you in the church but was denying my feelings rose said wow okay emma said can i take you out for a date some other time rose said i will think about it i need to dress before someone start looking for me or you emma left the washroom not knowing that his beauty was watching him as he stepped out beauty started smiling and said dad you think you are smart i'm the smartest too jumping up and down <laughs> Meanwhile, the stranger was one side rejoicing and was very happy about how things are going on between these two. Inside Emma's house, Emma's parents were discussing with Victor and Lawrence and Emma, Big Six, that is KK. So they called the secretary to bring some drinks. Emma's mom said, Jimoke, please bring some drinks here. Secretary, that's Jimoke, who was happy to do so, say yes, ma, I will be right there. Immediately she moved, she slipped off and fell down, and the drinks poured on her clothes. She tried to stand up and she fell again. Immediately everyone started laughing, even Beauty. Beauty now said, so feel the test of your own medicine. Jumoko was so embarrassed with what was happening to her, she felt like twice. Ima asked one of the security guards to take her away. 
Jumoke couldn't look up and left with anger. <laughs> Rose wore her clothes and joined the party to witness what was going on. She laughed her boots off. Ifoma and Ella went to meet Rose. Ella said, Rose, where have you been? Rose said, eh, I went to use the washroom. Ifoma said, mm, with who? Rose said, what do you mean by who? By myself, of course. Ella said, hmm, we are suspecting you because I can remember we left you alone with Ima. Rose said, what are you now trying to say? It was Ima's secretary that poured drink on me, so I went to clean up. Ifoma said, if you say so, don't worry, we will find out soon. Beauty came to meet Rose where she was. Beauty said, Rose, I missed you. Rose said, I missed you too. How have you been? Beauty said, I'm good. And you? Where did you go to? Because I thought you were talking to my dad outside the company. I was looking for you. Then I saw dad coming out of the washroom. Rose quickly shut her mouth up. Rose said, Beauty, you talk too much. Let's go and greet other people. Beauty smiled at Ifoma and Ella. Ifoma and Ella smiled and they understood the whole thing. At Jumoke's house, she was thinking aloud and I was made a laughing stock today. I was embarrassed. Even Ima laughed too. That is the most painful part of it. I will teach you all a lesson. So at Mazi's house, detective called Mazi to give him the information, but Mazi wasn't picking up his calls. At Ima's house, Ima introduced Rose and her friends to his parents and siblings and his elder sister. Ima's family immediately loved Rose and her friends. The housewarming ended successfully and everyone started going home. <clears throat> Rose and her friends told Ima they are about to leave. Ima said, let me drop you guys off. Ifoma and Ella said, no thanks, but you can drop Rose. We came with a car. Immediately, without wait waiting for Rose's response, they entered the car and zoomed off. Ima said, so, smiling, will you take me on your offer? Then Rose said, okay, thanks. Beauty ran to wear Rose and Ima wear. Beauty said, dad, Rose, can I come too? With her baby face. Rose and Ima smiled and said, okay, no problem. Come in and they zoomed off. Beauty at the back seat was smiling because she got a plan. Let's see what will be her plan this time around. Episode 17. Beauty smiled because she has a plan. Rose and Emma were busy jesting. They were at the entrance of Rose's house. Emma said, Rose, it seems we are pretty close to each other. Then Beauty said, wow, that is good. So I can come and greet Rose anytime. Rose said, funny girl. Anyways, you're welcome anytime. Emma smiled. He was happy that Beauty seems to like Rose. As they entered the compound, the gate man closed the gate. Beauty was still inside the car sitting down. Emma said, thanks for coming over today. I'm so glad you made it. Rose said, it's nothing. They were both staring at each other and Beauty coughed. They immediately <laughs> lost contact. Rose came down and walked towards the door. As she was about to enter, Beauty said, Dad, go and kiss her goodnight now. What are you waiting for? Emma said, Beauty, what do you know about kissing? I can't. Beauty said, Boy, you did inside the washroom. Emma was shocked and said, What? You were spying on me? Beauty said, No, Dad, I wasn't. Emma said, No more presents from me to you. Beauty said, But, Dad, you know I'm not lying. You deserve to be happy. Emma said, Shut up, princess. Let me just go and say goodnight. Beauty smiled and said, Let's wait and see. Emma came down from the car and said Rose should wait. So Rose waited at the door. Emma joined her. Rose laughed and Emma said, I will test you. Thanks once again. Rose was feeling shy. Immediately, Beauty ran outside the car and pushed Rose and Emma together and their lips glued and Beauty ran away. Emma and Rose couldn't stop the feeling. Emma then started kissing Rose. Whereas Ella and Ifoma were peeping through the window laughing at Rose. Rose and Emma were getting moved. Immediately, Beauty shouted, It's okay now. Beauty said, Dad, do you want to continue kissing her outside? If you want to continue, go inside though. Emma and Rose were shocked and they smiled. Hmm, I'm really enjoying this story. Are you enjoying it? Oh, I'll be bringing back the remaining episodes. Stay glued to this channel because I don't think you will be happy if you miss any episode at all, okay? I'll be bringing it bit by bit because like I said earlier, this very long story. And I also like the storyline. Yes, this little lion that 
penned this down that wrote this story really did a marvelous job here seriously and i enjoyed the story let's keep moving let me keep dropping this episodes bit by bit remember if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it click the notification bell by the side of the subscribers button that whenever i drop my videos you will be the first to be alerted okay recommend this channel to people out there if you love my channel if you are being entertained please recommend to your friends recommend to your family members let them come and also enjoy what we are dishing out here Remember, my name is Doris, and do take care of yourselves till I come your way next time. Bye-bye.